What are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two. And that's why I liked it, because I didn't have to get back that much. And that gets things running. More than happy to take. Keeper's ball. Otoy. Bruges have had plenty of possession, but few, if any, genuine chances. Oh, sweet feet. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Plays it back. Goes for the cross. Back into the middle. He's gone for it! Diwara. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. And back to base. Larin. Gorgeous control there. Into the middle. Gets up to head it. And he's done it. The breakthrough strike. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Rouge, draw first blood here. Oh, that is lovely footwork. And that's sprayed out wide. It's on a plate. Has a pop! The whistle goes for half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Rouge, head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. We are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Was for had a shot. Anderlecht are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Larin whipped in. He's through the middle. Defected behind for a corner kick. So here comes the substitution. 
Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Anderlecht are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Larin. Plays it out to the flank. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Bruges certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And it's played forward. They need to get it in quick. Promising cross. Simon Mignolet has that under control. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable.